Hey guys, I'm Gary Poe from Late to the Table and this is the top 80 through 71. Well, in all honesty, it's actually not where, uh, just let's keep it this little secret though, but uh, uh, I usually run through a lot of stats, at least I used to when it comes to YouTube. And I always noticed that when it came to these top 100 videos, like around 80 through 71 is usually the least watch out of all of them. So what we're going to here do here is uh, we're actually gonna talk about something completely different. And I'm praying to God that Tom never watches this video. So uh, uh, let's go ahead and do this. What we're gonna talk about instead is we're gonna talk about the top 10 games that actually cannot stand, but a lot of people love it. So I'm definitely probably wrong in this situation. And I got the list right here, and we're gonna go through that. And then at the end, if you honestly wanna know my 80 through 71, I guess I'll post the, the whatever. I'll make a blurb at the end or something like that. But let, let's go ahead and start. Uh, okay, first off, number 10 is going to be uh, let's actually start off with the lights up. Let's go with Western Legends. Now, Western Legends, I actually just recently played this game. It's a sandbox uh, Western game. <clears throat> and it does the job really well. It's a very simplified, very streamlined game. And it does all of that well. I just wasn't personally a fan of it. I guess you could say it's like, I would personally rate it like a six or something like that, but everyone's up in arms about the game and loves it and i'm just like eh, it's okay it's, it's just an okay game but um yeah that's number 10 i don't really need to go that deep into that one because it's still a solid game i'm being honest actually all of these are still solid games because a lot of people love them which is the point of the list but anyways number nine is going to be downforce now downforce i don't know if i'm being honest i think the only reason why i cannot stand downforce is that it reminds me way too much of ave caesar and it's just not ave caesar at all so I think that's my biggest gripe about the game. It's way too similar to the game, but it's still different enough that I removed some key components of the game that make it not so good. And it also adds a few more rules in the game, which bogs it down a bit. But that's my real main concern about Downforce. But um, yeah, that's number nine, Downforce. Now, yeah, and I'm speeding through these because uh, I, hopefully Tom's just not gonna watch this video. But number eight <clears throat> is gonna be Deception, Murder in Hong Kong. Now, when Deception, Murder in Hong Kong came out, I actually loved the game. I fell in love with the game. I, I, it was a Mysterium killer instantly. But then over time, I just realized that the lying part of the game, which is the whole reason why I play social deduction games, was just very stale. I mean, it's you you there wasn't that many uh, times when you'd be trapped into a corner with something and someone would absolutely deduce you out and it was just all still a little bit random kind of so over time i just started enjoying the game less and less and less to now to the point where it's like i'm like eh about it and not only that the game doesn't handle uh larger player counts as well as other games it still can be fun but it's just not handled as well but anyways that is number eight deception murder in hong kong now number seven i've talked about this game in a couple other videos probably, and that game's Mysterium. I, I don't know what the big deal is about Mysterium. It's uh, it's the, the rules are so bogged down if you actually play the legitimate way. And then when you don't, like the setup and the takedown is just way too long. The thing is, the funny thing is you might as well play Deception Murder in Hong Kong, but then I don't even like that game anymore. So it's just, I don't know, I just don't get Mysterium. I, I, okay, I'll take that back. I get Mysterium, I get why it's so popular, I get why a lot of people love it, but, I also don't get it at the same time. But anyways, that is number seven. Number six is going to be Power Grid. Now, Power Grid is a great game, 90% of it. And then when you get down to the last 10% of the game, it just becomes like you're just doing taxes. You're just doing your taxes. You might as well, you literally might as well stop playing the game, pull out your taxes. Actually, we're getting close to that season right now since it's December, it's almost next year. Um, but yeah, it's just, you're just doing math. And it's like, math is fun in bits and in certain ways and whatever. But when it's like you are doing a serious <laughs> uh, algebra equation uh, towards the end of the game, and it's not even like <clears throat> it's a quick math, math problem, it's like the whole game's going along, going pretty quickly and stuff like that. And then what would normally be about 10 minutes of the normal gameplay, suddenly because everyone's doing so much math, suddenly becomes like another 40 minutes added to the game. It's ridiculous, but yeah. That, and then if you play a, a higher player count, even worse. Uh, but that's number six, Power Grid. Number five is Great Western Trail. And sorry, by the way, by not mentioning the publishers and designers and the years that came out. I did not write those things down as paper. And um, it's already too late. We're already halfway through this video. But anyways, Great Western Trail. 
Uh, it's a interesting game because I feel like I would have really enjoyed it, but what ended up happening was is that it, after a while, it just felt like one of those games where it was just mechanics for the sake of mechanics, and it just really bothered me after a while because there were just so many mechanics thrown into that game, and while it all made sense and it all worked, it just... It almost felt like the same exact thing that uh, is kind of going on with, um, uh, what's that game called? It's a new Kickstarter that's going to be coming out, so it already did come out, I might be completely ignorant of it. I want to say it's Eternal Darkness, but it started out uh, as Mystic Veil. Vale. It's one of those things where it's like, the original game was Eternal Darkness, where it had this really cool core mechanic, but then they threw in a ton of other mechanics into the game, but then uh, down the line or in the past or something like that, they released other versions of that same exact game but it's just one mechanic out of that game or something like that. it just feels like one of those situations which um there's nothing wrong with eternal doctors i actually haven't played it yet so i can't really judge it but um when it comes to great western trail that's what it feels like there it just feels like one of those games that they had a ton of mechanics and i feel like after they released great western trail to get their money out of it they're going to be like oh we're going to release just the uh, deck building part of the game, or we're going to release just the train uh, moving part of the game, or something like that. That's what I just feel. But anyways, that's my gripe with Great Western Trail. That's about it. Oh, sorry, dogs barking at someone. Koba, stop. Koba, you want to join in on the video? You want to sit? Sit? You want to join the video? That's my dog, by the way, Koba. Yeah, he's adorable. And sorry for having the camera cut off for a second, but the number four is going to be Lords of Hellas. Now, the problem I had with Lords of Hellas is that, um, I thought, when I backed the game, I got everything for the game. I literally thought it was just going to be that next game. Um, it had everything I wanted. It had uh, card combat, instead of dice, it had area control, it had a whole bunch of new things. So I was introducing to uh, these kind of area control dudes on the map style games. A ton of miniatures, I love that stuff. A ton of different powers, etc. But the thing is, is that the game, um, after I played it a couple times, a few times, whatever, it was just, it was, it was the same problem with uh, Western Trail. It was just kind of bogged down with mechanics. And while the mechanics seem to make a lot more sense than they did in Great Western Trail, and why they exist and why they have it, where, why they were there and stuff like that. But the problem I had really was that um, the mechanics kind of made the game a little bit clunky. And it was starting to become clunky on like the side of like how, uh, what's the game? Um, uh, uh, oh wow, why am I having a brain fire in this game? It's a game, another game I cannot stand. Uh, Cry Havoc. It was along the line of like what happened in Cry Havoc where it took forever to set up the game. There was a lot of finicky little rules that you just had to remember in the game um, and just things like that. And knowing that, the other problem I had the game was that uh, in order to get more powers and abilities and stuff like that, it was all kind of random. You didn't really, except for the draft, you didn't really have that much choice in what kind of powers you got. I don't know, maybe it gets fixed in the expansions. Um, I'm not sure, but it was just a game in which I had so much high hope for. I was like, this is going to be the next game that kills a lot of games for me. And it just didn't, and it fell very short. Um, but yeah, that's my number three, Lords of Hellas. I mean, number four, Lords of Hellas. Next game, number three, is going to be King Domino. Now, um, I never had any expectations for King Domino when it came out or anything like that, but the thing that just bothered me about King Domino was just how much everyone loved it, and I just, how much I didn't love it in comparison. That's really the only thing. It's not like I hate King Domino or anything like that. I guess the best way to put it is just that everyone has King Domino just so high, and I'm just like, eh, it's okay game. But everyone is just like, oh, it's so high. Like, um, I know at least, like, I know probably at least 10 people that have played the game at this point right now. I wouldn't be shocked maybe a hundred times because they just play it all the time and they play with everyone. They play with everyone they know and stuff like that. They have like three copies of the game so they can play like with a bigger map and stuff like that with more players and everything. But um, King Domino, solid game. Just in my opinion, very, very hyped. Very hyped. It's a solid game which is extremely hyped in my opinion. But that's just my opinion. And of course, because everyone loves these games, I am absolutely wrong. But my number two is going to be one I've talked about in a lot before, but Seven Wonders. Now, the thing with Seven Wonders, I feel like a lot of people love this game, but at the same time, a lot of people are also starting to uh, get over this game just because it's so old at this point. There's so many other drafting games that are better than it. And that's my main gripe about it. It's just that there are so many other drafting games that do the same thing with less rules, it's easier to teach, it's more streamlined, it's better art, it's a, it's a quicker game, it's quicker to set up, quicker to put down, and stuff like that. And um, just they just all do it better than Seven Wonders. The only thing that Seven Wonders have over the competition is that Seven Wonders just has been around for so long and has more expansions. That's the only advantage. Besides that, 
Seven Wonders is just that game in which, in my opinion, just needs to kind of go away because uh, it's just, the game's not exciting. I, um, people call it a gateway game and I've tried it several times getting people into the hobby by bringing that game out and they're just so dull. Like, like is it, they're just like, oh, this, that was an okay game. But then I pull out something else like a, like an insider, a fake artist goes to New York, a raw or something like that. Then they get excited about the hobby and they're all interested in trying other games, but Seven Wonders is just not exciting. I don't know. I just feel like, uh, people that get into the hobby because of Seven Wonders are people that would have gotten into the hobby regardless of anything they play. They just like gaming in general and they just always kind of knew that inside and they would have always liked it. They weren't truly converted. They were just introduced, if that makes sense. But anyways, uh, that's number two, Seven Wonders. Now, number one, the number one game that I cannot stand that a lot of people love is the entire Legendary series. Every single Legendary, there's not been a single one that's come out that's maybe changed my mind because they're all the same game. Um, but Legendary is my number one. And um, in my opinion, I just feel like it's that game in which if it didn't have its IP attached to it or any of the major IPs that the game has acquired over the years, uh, the game would just not have gone off at all. Um, it just would have been very lackluster and people would just ignore it because the gameplay itself is just just so dull. And, and not only that, the wor okay, the worst part about the game is actually not even the game itself. The worst part about the game is that in order to set up the game and to take down the game, it's longer than playing the game itself. To set up the game, it's like, even if you organize all your stuff properly and well, you get the app to help you pick a game mode and all the cards you gotta use and stuff like that, it still is a solid 20 minute setup. And then to break it down, it's like the still solid 15, 20 minutes out to break it down. And the worst part about it is, is that it's like, if you want to play again, it's not like it's a quick refresh to, you just put everything on the board again and you're all set. It's like, no, you still got to go through that same 15 to 20 minute setup and another same 15 to 20 minute breakdown. It's ridiculous. And then the game itself is like, the game usually lasts 30 minutes. It can go up to an hour tops, but the game plays pretty quick. And I just don't get it. I don't get how people, would rather set up and break down a game rather than actually playing a game. That's my really my biggest gripe with Legendary. But anyways, hope you enjoyed it. That was my 10 through one of games that uh, I actually cannot stand that a lot of people like, so I'm probably definitely in the wrong about it because those games are making a ton of money and a lot of people are enjoying them, having fun getting into hobby and enjoying themselves. And if people are like, hey, why do you have to make a negative video in the middle of this? To be honest, it's just lazy writing. I couldn't think of a positive thing. I've done positive one lists before and I just couldn't think of one, so. Yeah, that's the reason why. But anyways, hope you enjoy the rest of the top 100 play, uh, I was gonna say playlists as if this is like a, a CD or something like that. But I hope you enjoy the rest of the top 100 list. Um, if you actually wanna see my 80 through 71, I should be playing it in probably another second, but see you until next time guys. Peace, see ya. And before I forget, uh, be sure to not tell Tom about this video, please. I, I, it'll just help me out a ton and it'll just be the most useful thing. Um, uh, hello? Hello, Gary, it's Dan. Dan, you mean uh, Cor Cora's dad, Dan, right? Yes, yes, Cora's dad, Dan. Now, listen, man, you clearly hate all these games. What are they doing in your top 100? This is ridiculous. Uh, I'd like to just talk about other things besides top 100s, you know? You, you're just making a mockery now. You just make a mockery of the whole thing. It's not acceptable. Tom, Tom is just not gonna accept this. You're gonna be in so much trouble now. So 
much trouble. He's going to come down on you like a ton of bricks. He's going to grind you into the floor like the insignificant worm you are. Because you are a worm, Gary. You are a worm. You need to let me on these videos. I want to be on your videos. Let me on the videos, Gary. Let me on the videos.